The 3 5 2 is a formation on FIFA 23 that I think gets undervalued quite a lot. It can be a great formation if utilized correctly, and today I'm going to be showing you how to utilize it correctly. I just want to give a big thank you to my friend David Nabrega. You saw his rank one rewards the other day on the channel, and I really appreciate him kind of coming through with their rewards. And I've taken a bit of inspiration from his 3 5 2 tactics for today's video. This formation is really good because you retain the width. And you can kind of set it up as a five back in defense. And in attack, you've got so many players going forward that it really does work as the best go forward formation. Sometimes it can leave you a bit loose defensively, but I think it's worth the risk of how good the attacking options can be and how fruitful it can be in the attacking sense. For cheap FIFA 23 coins, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com to get fast and reliable coins. And make sure you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a 5% discount. As we get into the instructions for the 352 guys, it's going to be quite interesting. So, first of all, we've got stay central, get in behind, and stay forward for our two strikers. Now, if you ever watch any of my 4 1 2 and 2 narrow custom tactics and instructions, I set up the strikers exactly the same as I would in the 4 1 2 and 2 narrow. So, the way to do that is just have the stay central, get in behind, and stay forward. You can take them off, stay forward if you like, and have them drop a little bit deeper. But the way we're going to set up the cam is going to be quite different to the 4 1 2 and 2 narrow. And you just got to look at this formation as a 4 1 2 1 2 narrow with two wide players, which really does make this formation arguably better than the 4 1 2 1 2 narrow in certain instances. So, stay central, get behind, stay forward on the two strikers, pretty self explanatory. As I said, try it out on basic defense support if you don't like to stay forward. The reason they're on stay central is because you've already got the width with your two left mid and right mid, or your wide players, I should say. Getting behind is just really good for through balls and, you know, DRB setting up the through balls into the two strikers is very nice. With the cam, though, we've got him on comeback on defense. He drops quite deep with the midfielders, with Park Ji Sung and Modric in this case, or the two CDMs, and it's going to help out there as well. Because you're going to have so many options when you're counter-attacking, it's okay to have comeback on defense on your cam. Never, ever, ever, ever put them on basic defense support. That really does mess the cam up. You either need them on comeback on defense or stay forward. Try it out on both, but the comeback on defense I found works really well. And it just drops them a little bit deeper, helps out defensively a little bit more, and I really like that. For the two wide players, they are on a lot of things. Come back on defense, stay wide, get behind, get into the box for cross. Now, let me go one by one on these. Come back on defense allows the left mid and right mid to kind of set up in that wing back kind of territory to where it sets up as a five back defensively, okay? So that is why the comeback on defense is there. Stay wide is because they are your only width. Without the, the wide players here, this really kind of is a full one, two on two narrow. Even though you've only got three defenders, just kind of disregard that. Look at this formation, very narrow without the left mid and right mid. So stay wide is crucial because you've got three defenders as well. You've got one extra center back than what you would have in a full one, two on two narrow. Kind of allows you to leave these wide because you've got the extra defender, meaning you're a bit more wide in terms of defending with your centre backs anyway. Getting behind is really good for the over the tops, getting them into the cutback areas, which is what I really like. And getting to the box for the cutbacks also works really well. As you can see here, we've also got the same on Klaus there. For our CDMs, we have got both of them on cut passing lanes and cover centre. Park Ji Sung, who I look at as the more defensive option is on stay back while attacking, whilst Modric is on balance attack to get forward and kind of offer an extra body going forward, especially because he's got the Travellers. Travellers are important. And what I would recommend if you can is have the Travellers on the wide players as well. It's not crucial. It's not an absolute must. Davies can do them quite well. Klaus has got plus 90 shot power. And I will explain real quickly why the shot power is important. I'll go over why and how the Travellers work. If you guys remember at the start of the game, Travellers were absurdly broken. I was the number one way to score. They then nerfed it. Nobody really knew how to kind of break the Travellers again until maybe a few months ago when the pros started to, to get the hang of it. And what you need is either eight... The, the best setup for the Travellers is the outside foot shot below 89 shot power. That's including the chemistry style as well. So if you've got a player that's got 89 shot power, make sure you don't boost their shooting to make it go over. 89 and then you need the outside foot shot now the outside foot shot isn't an absolute must 
the consistency of the shots going in will be more with the outside foot shot trait but it's not absolutely needed in this case Davies does not have the outside foot shot trait but he has below 89 shot power so he can still perform them but let's say in, in 10 chances of doing them and green timing them they're going five out of ten times with Modric who's got the outside foot shot and the 89 shot power they will go in eight times out of ten so outside foot shot 89 shot power is the absolute best for it but you don't exactly need that gone over that for way too long but yeah the two the two midfielders are here you know and they're cdm so several attacking on your more defensive option and if you want to have the other one several attacking you can but as i said because of the travellers he's the only one that can do the travellers consistently in the team i like to have modric on balanced attack and then for the defense try and get really fast players of course delict is on the left hand side because he's got a four star weak foot and i know you're gonna say oh great has got a five star weak foot yes he does that's correct but because he's a midfielder i like having him as that middle center back because they get involved the most in going forward because it's a narrow formation outside of the the, the two wide players here i like to have goretzka the ability to kind of go through the spine of the team drive forward when needed you know he's got good ball playing abilities he's got the best ball playing abilities out of all three of these center backs but make sure your two outside center backs are really really fast and can pass competently as well so it's kind of set up for the center backs guys i think i've explained the instructions quite well here so let's move on to the tactics as we move on to the tactics we have got balance for the defensive style pressure on heavy touch is quite good in the 352 press off the position loss or the gagan press which it should just be called the gagan press um it's too much constant pressure absolute no go and drop back really defeats the object of this formation so your options are balanced or pressure on heavy touch i found balance to be really nice in this one we've got 45 width here up to you really what you do it kind of disregards you know the width you've got here is disregarded by what you've got on your wide players as we've got stay wide essentially all this is doing is compacting the center backs more together and not really doing anything to the wide players so it's kind of up to you what you want to do there 60 width because you're a bit more susceptible to getting hit down the flanks having the 60 depth isn't as high as i usually have it but i still want to retain a bit of defensive solidity while still being able to offside trap as much as i want to so 60 depth is a bit low for me but i like this and you know still is very aggressive so if you want to drop this down to 50 you're more than more than able to and it will work really really well but if you're if you're an aggressive defender i highly recommend 60 depth fast build up and direct passing is exactly the same as what i use in the 4122 narrow and the reason for that is as i explained earlier in the center of the 352 it's essentially a 4122 narrow use it as such utilize the 4122 tactics in the attacking side of things here and you will really enjoy it it really does set up very similar in the middle of the park so fast build up is great for counter attacking fast build up is even better in the 352 because you'll have so many bodies going forward it is crazy how many options you've got for cutbacks or just quick passing it works really really well same with the direct passing works really well with that you know, direct passing is very good in direct formations and whilst the 352 offers width it still was a very direct formation in my opinion now guys as we move on to the width here we have got 70 width now that is a lot of width just for two wide players the only reason i have this this high is because of the wide players and because i like to use them very very well i like them to always be um hugging the sideline basically which is quite dangerous because it means that there's you can't really defend with them too well because they're so wide what you can also do if you want to drop this width lower you can press up and right on the d-pad and what that's going to do for you is put the uh wide players on hug sideline which is really nice if you want them at the absolute at the sideline you know as it as it says they're going to be kissing and hugging the sideline works really well for the cutbacks and that is what the wide players essentially are here to do defend when we're out of possession in position in possession going down the line and looking for the cutbacks consistently is what we're looking for we've also got 10 players in the box here now players in the box you might look at this and you go oh my god what on earth is he doing it has no adverse effects really defensively um so try it on 10 and let me know what you think 
I quite like it. Once again, great for cutbacks. Corners and free kicks, completely up to you. I like to go short, look to the edge of the box, and then look for Latrovella. So that is why I have that on two. And free kicks is entirely up to you. But guys, those are the free 5 2 custom tactics and instructions. I hope you like them. I really like them. Let me know what you think. Leave a like on today's video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell to miss a video. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So take care.